Okay, so hi guys, and it is a big honor for me today because here by my side is a legend. It is a star. It is a bully XL of, of the bully world, you know. And this is uh, Dave Wilson, the founder and the president of ABTC, also the founder of Razor's Edge Correct. Channel. Um, so. First, first question for you, how was your trip to Czech Republic? My trip yeah. was good with the exception of we arrived late, Yeah. so I missed my connection. So I had to travel from Brussels to Germany to Vienna to <laughs> to Prague, so I got a, a, a tour of Europe. So, <laughs> so uh, do you like Europe? I love Europe, yes. yes. Okay. Um, and it is beautiful here, it's my first time here and it's beautiful. Okay. Um, so the second question will be, you know, I'm Lithuanian, so I yes. have to ask you, <laughs> what, uh, what, what do you think about the basketball, basketball game between Lithuania and the, and the USA in this world champion? So really what happened was we've dominated too long, so we wanted to do a donation. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, so, uh, thank you yeah, for it's a the gift donation. From <laughs> okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. So, uh, so now will be some, some, some not tough but interesting questions. So let's talk about the dogs. And uh, for last year, we had in ABC World, we had uh, some huge losses of the dogs. What do you think? It is, it is. Because of the dog, because of the beaver of jeans, what, what can you say about that? There's a lot of things with the American bully that you have to be very careful of. And I'm not saying this was one of the reasons for yeah. the dogs dying. But number one, we're breeding a, a, a heavier style dog with a shorter muzzle. So you're always going to have dogs that don't breathe as clean as long muzzle dogs. So you always have to be aware of situations with heat. That's one of the biggest situations with the American Bully. It's it's more prone to heat stroke than a lot of other breeds because yes. it's a short muzzle breed and a heavier breed. Aside from that, we're also seeing some issues in the breed where dogs with anxiety issues, yeah. um, anxiety when they're traveling and they're moving around, anxiety can, can uh, act the same as basically heat stroke and you can lose a dog the same way. Also, we've been breeding dogs that a lot of breeders have been doing a lot of health testing. and. Yeah. I think it's time that we really start to do that because we need to know what's going on the inside of our dogs with the hearts and things like that. So I think um, we need to promote more health testing, genetic testing, health testing, especially towards the heart. So I think that we'll find that we're probably a lot of these dogs that we're losing could be internal issues or it could be environmental issues from, like I said, with the heat. So it's just we just got to do our due diligence as breeders and make sure we're breeding quality, healthy dogs. and do our diligence as dog owners to make sure that we know the signs of heat stroke. We know the signs of an anxiety attack and things like that. Yeah. Okay, um, second question. Uh, you are now in Europe. You see a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, European bred dogs. And uh, do you see very big difference from American bullies in the USA and in Europe? It really depends on where I am in Europe. Europe had the American Bully for many, many, many years. So yeah. there's a lot of places that I go that I see the qualities there and it's sometimes even better than in America. Um, the UK, I went to a show one time, they're phenomenal quality there. Um, but then there's other places that the dogs are still new, the breed's still new and you're not quite seeing the quality or the consistency yet. So it all depends on where you are in Europe. Some of the best dogs are here in Europe and it's very similar in a lot of ways to America. Okay. And also, I think you are the one person who should say it. Uh, so, what is your vision about okay, ABC in future? My vision is that number one, we finally get the breed to a consistent look where everybody truly understands what the varieties are supposed to look like. And I think we're finally getting there. It's been a lot of work to, to teach people that, but I think we're getting closer. That's the biggest thing. The other thing is I want to keep the world united in this and start to work with other countries to help fight some of these other laws that they have. A lot of countries around the world starting to have issues where they're banning breeds and doing things like that. And I want to ensure that the American bully isn't confused with the American Pitbull Terrier or yeah. anything like that. So 
that we can protect this breed and preserve this breed around the world so the dogs don't get banned. So the biggest things I have in the future for ABKC are getting people to really understand breed type and getting this breed to a level where all the dogs are finally looking consistent and helping every country around the world protect this breed so that it doesn't fall victim to some of these laws. Okay, let's talk uh, about uh, some bloodlines or maybe your uh uh, your best dogs for you. What is the best bully for you for now, for today? Um, to be honest with you, I tell people to look at the ABKC Nationals. Yeah. The dogs that have won the ABKC Nationals are always a great representation of the breed. For anyone that wants to reference what the ABKC is looking for and what a true quality American bully is, I would look at the winners of the Nationals for the past yeah. in a few years and so that's a really good was, look at that. It was, uh, as I remember Claire, it was uh, uh, Grand, Grand Champion, Champion Blue, Blue, Grand Champion Samson, yeah. then Grand Champion, or no, Grand Champion Samson, Grand Champion Blue, and then Grand Champion Zero. Yeah, yeah. And and what, what, also, the last one I, I saw was Champion Seven. Seven wasn't a Nationals winner, oh, Zero, yeah. Yeah. the father. Okay, the yeah. Father, so, yes, yeah. Okay, so, it was really nice to meet you. It Pleasure was, to meet you too. It, it, it was a big, uh, it is a big uh, success for me and my channel to meet you here in Europe because uh, I really wanted it. I really wanted to ask you some questions about the bullies and my hope is one day to come to compete in ABC Nationals. So. Beautiful, we'd love to have you there. Okay. A pleasure and it's an honor. Okay. You're welcome for the basketball game. So. Okay, right. thank you. You're thank welcome, you. pleasure. Bye.